I, you know, we haven't taken a, an official position as a Freedom Caucus. I think there is uh, wide support uh, among all of my colleagues. We've talked about this in anticipation that this day may come uh, based on the impasse that uh, our negotiators were, were facing here on Capitol Hill. Uh, there's, there's certainly a big push to make sure that we limit executive power, but currently the laws are in place that would not only allow, but certainly uh, uh, encourage this type of activity on, on behalf of the president, and, and we support it. Well, I mean, we, we've got a crisis. Uh, we've got caravans that are coming. Uh, the amount of money that was allocated in this particular bill that was passed last, last night and about to be signed into law uh, it would would indicate that we would have a 20-year window to secure our southern border. Uh, I don't know that anybody would wait 20 years to secure their home, uh, and I don't think it would be appropriate for us to wait that long to secure our southern border. So uh, the president finding additional resources to be more aggressive in that approach is certainly something that's applauded by most of my district. Anyway. You know, I, as I've expressed before, I, I've encouraged the president not to go down the, uh, this path um, of a national emergency. I mean, I see the legal basis, I see the legal argument uh, that he's deploying to get access to these funds in order to secure the border. Uh, but fundamentally, this should be Congress's role. And what I do, am afraid of is this lets Congress off the hook from doing its job. We should have stayed in the room. We negotiated a good compromise, but if there's additional threats that need to be addressed, let's, let's do that through the process of appropriate spending and have Congress do its job and work with the, with the president, not opposed to the president on this issue. Would you be willing to support House Democrats if they try to challenge the president's declaration? You know, you know obviously I see the legal basis and arguments, so I'll we'll have to look exactly as to what they're uh, referring to and what the, how they draft uh, that type of action, and also see exactly what the president does in regards to where he uses the national emergency uh, declaration to access funds. You know, there's uh, different types of action that can be taken, and, you know, I, I'm hopeful that even with this uh, path that I've discouraged the president to do, that he limits uh, the use of that authority uh, into areas that clearly are legally available to him under those declarations.